Hi, welcome back. A hearty welcome to you. In the last video, we have seen trigonometric equations introduction and we learned about principal solution and the general solution. We will just repeat that a little bit and in, in addition to that, we will also know what are the what is the general solution of the equations sin x equal to 0, cos x equal to 0 and tan x equal to 0. To start with, we understood that trigonometric equations are equations in which the variables are trigonometric functions with a variable angle. That means general algebraic equations are something like x square minus 3x plus 2 or x square minus x. Whereas trigonometric equations looks like sin x equal to 0, sin square x equal to 0, sin square x plus sin 2x plus sin 3x equal to 0 or cos x cos 2x cos 3x equal to 5, 1, whatever it can be, right? So, to start with, let us start with sin x equal to 0, cos x equal to 0 and tan x equal to 0. A little bit look into principal, what is principal value and general principal solution and general solution for sin, cos and tan. And so, we will start with sin first. We know that there are two types of solutions for any trigonometric equations. One is called as principal solution and the other is called as general solution. So, we have two solutions. Let us say that is one is principal solution, another is general solution. Why we will have a general solution? Because all the trigonometric functions are periodic functions. So, there are infinite solutions for any particular equation. Yes. So, now what is the principal solution? I see in different textbooks they follow different. Some books say that a particular window, but generally I have seen that some books they say that if the angle is between 0 to 2 pi because that is what generally we look into. 0 to 2 pi whatever the values satisfy the equation are called as principal principal so is called as principal solution and also another uh, another way is that there is a particular window for sine it is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. I agree with this because I, I sincerely think that principal solution should be unique and if you look into this window you know that the range of sine is minus 1 to 1 that means the value minus 1 is minus pi by 2 sine of minus pi by 2 and sine of pi by 2 is 1 the range is minus 1 to 1 and the values are not repeating all the values are covered nothing but x and sin x in between the window minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 it's a bijection if you don't understand about the functions and bijections just remember that all the values of sine function whatever the values you get in this curve if you go infinitely are covered in this particular window so and for every for every value of this curve you have a angle to represent that so th that that's the principal window for sine okay so principal window according to sine is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and sine x equal to 0 x equal to 0 is a in the window minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so principal x equal to 0 now comes to the general solution general solution we know is if i know x equal to 0 I know by default that all trigonometric functions are periodics and the period of sine and cos are 2 pi. That means if for 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, all of them are 0. I know that. Not only that, I also observe that sine pi, sine 3 pi, sine 5 pi, 7 pi are also 0. That means I see that the values of 0 pi 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, all of them the are satisfying the equation sin x equal to 0. That means I can write it as x equal to n into pi where n belongs to z. That means n can be any integer either a positive integer or a negative integer but it satisfies 
if you multiply it with pi it satisfies the equation sin x equal to 0 so the principal solution is x equal to 0 and the general solution is x equal to n pi another way of getting this if you don't want to look at the graph is just understand that always this is the bible quadrants four quadrants all sine tan cos you know that sin is positive in first quadrant and also second quadrant that means if sin alpha if if actually you have sin 0 you also know that sin pi is also equal to 0 similarly sin 2 pi is 0 sin 3 pi is 0 sin 4 pi is 0 sin 5 pi is 0 so you can see that you can see that for all integer multiples of pi sin is 0 that's why it is n pi okay right so similarly let's now go to the cos and see what is the principal value for cos x equal to 0 for cos x equal to 0 we have to find out the principal value the principal window for cos is 0 to pi because cos 0 is 1 and cos pi is minus 1 the range of cos function is minus 1 to 1 and you can see that in particular this interval 0 to pi all the values of cos function are covered so whatever the solution you get here that is called as principal solution of cos x equal to 0 right a cos function any any cos function it, any cos equation actually it may not be cos x equal to 0 it can be cos x equal to 1 by 2 or it can be root 3 by 2 anything but the principal window for cos remember is always 0 to pi so here we are saying the principal window is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 whereas here the principal window is 0 to pi the principal window is 0 to pi here it is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 that is called as the principal window okay so i will write here principal solution is x equal to pi by 2 because cos 90 equal to 0 and pi by 2 is in the window 0 to pi so that is the principal solution okay that's perfectly fine now let us look at what is the general solution of cos x if I look at where in the cos curve where cos is becoming 0 I see that cos minus pi by 2 is 0 cos pi by 2 is 0 cos 3 pi by 2 is 0 again cos 5 pi by 2 is 0 so you can see that minus 1 minus 1 pi by 2 1 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 so you can you observe that these are all odd numbers correct i have minus 1 pi by 2 1 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 because if it is 2 pi by 2 it becomes minus 1 if it is 4 pi by 2 it becomes plus 1 only when it is odd multiples of pi by 2 my cos function is 0 so how to represent a odd function to represent odd what i can do is i know that 2n I, I know that actually 2 pi is the period right so that means after 2 pi again this value will repeat minus pi by 2 after 2 pi the value will repeat so what I will do I will write it as 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 now let us see whether I will get this or not if I put n equal to 0 2 into 0 plus 1 pi by 2 perfect if I put n equal to minus 1, 2 into minus 1, minus 2 plus 1, minus pi by 2. If I put 2n, 2 into n equal to 2, I will get 5 pi by 2. If I put 1, I will get 3 pi by 2. So it is satisfying all the values. So that is the general solution, 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. Okay. So that is the principal solution of sin x and cos x. Now tan x is very simple because if tan x is 0 tan x is 0 implies that sin x equal to 0 because sin x by cos x equal to tan x that means tan x also 
the principal solution will be x equal to 0 and the general solution will be equal to n into pi. So, since I just want to touch on this again, since they are odd numbers, you are tr any number you multiply with 2 will become even number and actually if you want to see this, this is nothing but equal to, if you separate that, that is nothing but equal to 2 n pi plus pi by 2. You know that, you know that the cos function period is 2 pi, that means if you add 2 pi to pi by 2, it will have the same value, but I can have that type of 2 pi c n, that means I can do it how many times I want. So that's why it is 2 n pi plus pi by 2, nothing but 2 n plus 1 into pi by 2. Now what happens whenever the value of n is given a positive or negative integer, you can see that it becomes an odd multiple of pi by 2 for which the value of cos is 0. So these, these, this is a little bit uh, about general solutions of sin x equal to 0, cos x equal to 0 and tan x equal to 0. So the window for tan is also, uh, for sin is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and cos is 0 to pi and the principal values of sin x equal to 0 is 0 and cos x equal to 0 is x equal to pi by 2 and also tan x equal to 0 is x equal to 0. The general solution for sin x equal to 0 is n pi because all multiples of pi whether it is odd or even satisfy that sin x equal to 0. In case of cos it should be only odd multiples, all multiples of your solution, principal solution that is pi by 2. So 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 will give me for different values of n integers where n belongs to z will give me all the values of cos which satisfy odd multiples of pi by 2 which satisfy cos x equal to 0. So in the next video we will see an equation where instead of sin x equal to 0 if sin x equal to k then how to find out the principal solution and also how to find out the general solution. That we will have a look in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.